Hi all, welcome back. I am Vishwanath. In previous videos, we have developed a Spring Boot REST API using Java 17, Maven, and integrated with Lambo, Hatios, HES2, JPA, Swagger, Hall actuators, and also handled exceptions and validations and secured the endpoints as well. On top of it, we have also covered how to develop a REST API uh, testing. Then we have dockerized the image and hosted it on Azure Get. In today's session, we will discuss mainly on API versioning, why it re uh, required and how we can achieve API versioning. We all know that uh, changes are in, uh, inevitable as requirements keep coming and hence we have to accommodate those changes. How we accommodate those changes? Uh, we also should take care that older versions of APIs are accessible as well as the new versions are also accessible. In order to maintain both the versions, the concept of API versioning is required. So there are typically four types of API versioning which are majorly used by uh, big giants in market like Twitter, Amazon, Microsoft and Git. The first type of versioning is called as a URI versioning where a, for a given API version number is being followed for the rest of the API calls like for instance V1 uh, is a version over here which is uh, followed by nest api call like slash user uh, which uh, we have uh, created in the uh, endpoints as a uh, users so for this uh, users if we want to implement uh, the versions then our api uh, url uri should look like as a version 1 slash uri or version 2 as a uri likewise if you are following like request params then there will be no changes to the uri however we have to mention the params saying like what version uh, we are trying to say as uh, third type is uh, custom request header version by the name we can see that uh, it is also going to use a params which is going to be a request headers and fourth one is a, a produce version where uh, it is going to mention like what what is an uh, content that uh, this particular api is going to give us on calling of this and hence it is also called as a content negotiation where we are trying to say what is the type of the content that we are going to look for so le let's see how we can uh, apply these concepts uh, initially and then uh, select one among them and then integrate that with our code so let's go back to the code and uh, for this, uh, instead of directly doing the changes to the uh, to our main entity, I'll create a separate controller uh, where I'll demonstrate all the four uh, APIs and then integrate one among them onto our uh, class. So I'll create a controller uh, as we have already user controller. I'll say as a user version controller version controller. And I'm going to uh, create uh, uh, th this class is going to use uh, user one and user two. So I'm going to create them as a record uh, type, uh, we, which will uh, take one as a name and another one is going to uh, take as a first name and the second name, assuming that the name install because we have started with name we want to change that with the first name and second name and surname down the line uh, and let's call this as a version v2 class so in, inside our uh, controller uh, let's uh, create a class which is going to return this object type in order to populate uh, version one method so where we can say as it is going to return new instance of this class where I'm going to say 
with name as Vishwanath Amiraju uh, and likewise we are going to create one more class where it is uh, where we say like it is of uh, version 2 mechanism which is going to return version 2 so it is going to take like uh, two parameters uh, two parameters so let's implement all four versions now the first and the easy version is the uh, 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 URA mapping so where we, we would just be saying that uh, it is going to be uh, v version 1 instead of user I, I'll just type as a person uh, just not to get confused with the URLs so we are going to expect how this to be a public type because it should be accessible and it is going to have a user one uh, get uh, or populate user details get user v1 details this is going to return Uh, I'm I'm just trying to reuse instead of uh, typing it. So first version and the second one is going to be a different URL which is going to return the object of a second one. So this is basically our uh, first option which is a URI versioning second one is basically uh, the param versioning so we can just say this as a name param so over here like a param that i'm going to t uh, take is from the pp so where i have mentioned the param as a version v1 I think if I have typed it, it would have taken less time. Version V1. Uh, so uh, uh, over here, uh, I'm going to say like uh, uh, instead of this, I'll just mention like a URI type uh, details uh, uh, URI and uh, this is going to be a param so get version so because it is a param i can say my uri is of a param for uh, just for uh, better naming convention so i can just say this is a version 2 so when version 2 oh, please call this please call this and uh, third type that we have is on uh, headers instead of params so i'll just say as uh, headers and uh, headers that I, that I wanted to take as uh, API version 1 API version 1 and uh, let this take as an API version 2 so instead of params I'm going to say as an headers going to get this as a headers instead of param so params version api yeah and the last one that we have in the list is uh, for the content negotiation uh, or mime type so we'll be taking like a produce so 
if we go back we have mentioned uh, that it should return xml and the other one should uh, return the json v2 json json so over here we we can mention the, that uh, this to be as a produce instead of headers so v1 version instead of headers it is going to be a produce with capital p <coughs> likewise here uh, as a v2 so So uh, b before we uh, test this application, um, uh, because we have added the produce uh, where we have added the XML, um, unless we add a dependency, the application will not work as a desired. So let's add a dependency in order to convert uh, JSON to XML in pom.xml. In order to add uh, dependencies, go to the pom.xml and uh, just copy any dependency and mention it and what we are going to say this artifact is com dot com dot faster xml jackson and data format so inside that what we have is a jackson uh, data format xml that is uh, one let's need not mention the version so so the changes that we did we have added a, a new class and changes to the pom.xml so let's uh, test the changes uh, from swagger so if you see it this was the uh, previous version of it and when we refresh it uh, we can see like uh, a new version of uh, will be generated yeah i see it has not generated i think the reason is i have missed one of the annotations yeah so as soon as i add uh, uh, rest controller annotation uh, it gets restarted and uh, we can see the changes now once we refresh it yeah so they, these are the version uh, details where uh, we are able to see the changes the reason why we are not seeing the other uh, urls is uh, uh, the reason why we are not seeing the other uh, urls is basically uh, we have not mentioned the uh, right uh, value <laughs> or the path we can just mention as uh, uh, value so i'll i'll be rectifying them all uh, uh, so once we rectify it uh, because of uh, uh, the plugin it will restart and we can refresh it so we can use swagger uh, to test our uh, uh, apis so uh, now we will see on, only the right versions in, uh, as mentioned in our uh, uh, ppt uh, i have just framed the uh, urls uh, where, where uh, you you can just see that uh, the the first one is uh, uh, v, uh, v1 users and v2 users and second one is basically the uh, params uh, where, where we will, we are uh, going to say like uh, our URL will uh, look like uh, this and so li likewise uh, the header version and uh, over here now let's go to uh, swagger where, where we can see uh, we can try it out uh, the responses where we can see like for uh, v1 person URL we got uh, uh, as a single string 
and uh, whereas for the v2 version when we try it out uh, we see like we are getting like uh, two variables so if you are trying to uh, do with uh, produce uh, which will go for content negotiation uh, so if we try it out if we execute uh, we have got this uh, uh, result and uh, if we are trying to say as an XML uh, now if I say execute I got that as a single object in XML so that's all on content negotiation and uh, now let's see on uh, params so if we try try this out uh, and if we execute it, uh, we, I mean, uh, be, be, because it's a param, uh, over here uh, we will not be able to execute it. Mm, uh, we, for the headers, uh, we, uh, how we can, let's see how we can execute the headers. Uh, so if I say like uh, try it out uh, for uh, API version 2. Uh, I'm expecting it uh, to be like this and if I give us API version 1 uh, and uh, if I say execute I get the data as here and uh, let's use the postman uh, because uh, uh, we, we are not able to give the params uh, here instead of using the params we can directly uh, use because it's a, a get URL we can directly uh, type it over here the, the, that is a version 1 and uh, the next one is a version 2 so over here you see it is uh, to be on XML format from postman if you uh, see it uh, the uh, response uh, for those APIs uh, this is the first one which is a JSON second one is also a JSON and uh, the next one if, if I'm trying to take it and I'm going to apply it for here I'm going to see it is a JSON format. Uh, you can also change your uh, format, uh, uh, but I don't advise that uh, to do it. So if we see it over here, yeah. So we, we, we have tested all the URLs and all the formats and everything is working as desired and my preferred way of uh, applying the versions uh, uh, basically we have to consider a few factors uh, like are we polluting the uri or are we misusing the headers or are we uh, saying like it is uh, user friendly uh, they, 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 for example like uh, these details definitely requires a separate client even for the get request uh, to be tested whereas uh, these are relatively uh, friendly uh, where, where we can directly frame the urls and uh, we can key uh, key it. My preferred op option uh, we will be uh, of uh, using the version followed by the API. In that way, the uh, code is cleaner and uh, 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 relatively better is what I feel. But uh, there is no hard and fast rule. Anyone can use any any anything based on their requirement and uh, and uh, their need. That's all for now. And in the next video, we will be applying uh, one of the uh, uh, you know like a version to our application and uh, we will also test uh, those changes uh, thanks for watching cheers bye